Hello, if we've not met, I'm Alison Perry. I'm a speech language therapist. I'm a sounds right trainer and the owner of Soundality. Uh, I assume that I'm in your inbox because you're also an educator of some kind who's passionate about effective literacy instruction. So thanks for your time. I'm here to share a little of what I've been up to in the past few months, uh, as well as share a brand new resource from Sounds Right. Uh, but first, look, this isn't a hard sell because if you're here because you're interested in training in Sounds Right, it's because you've already heard about how effective the approach is. Uh, it's just an announcement to say that this is the final call to book in to the next online course, which starts in July. Uh, I'll put a link to the booking page below. Uh, I also have one or two places left for my face-to-face -face course, the four-day workshop uh, in Red Hill in Brisbane uh, in term three. I will be also taking bookings for face-to-face -face courses in 2025 and they're starting to fill. So please get in touch if you're interested in having me come to your school or clinic next year to, to work with your, your team. So in March this year, I was lucky to visit a few schools here in Mean Gym in Brisbane uh, with John Walker, one of the co-authors of the Sounds Right program uh, and others from the Sounds Right team who'd travelled over from the UK. And we got to visit some schools and see Sounds Right in action. We watched brilliant teaching across several year levels, uh, including some upper primary groups with a real focus on spelling and vocabulary uh, to see the students just revel in the routine of the lessons, uh, that confidence in knowing what they need to do at each point and to see the teachers so cleverly navigate uh, when errors were made or differentiate for students who needed it was an absolute delight. Uh, we also spent time with various leadership teams, so hearing of those team efforts being made to continue improving the quality of instruction for all students, so in whole class sessions, uh, as well as in intervention group settings. Um, the schools that we met with found the new phonic lead handbook was of great benefit. So if you are Sounds Right trained, make sure to get your own copy of that via the Sounds Right Practitioners portal. Um, I was also lucky to attend the three-day language learning and literacy conference in Perth with the Sounds Right team. Um, I really loved reconnecting with previous colleagues and people I've trained in Sounds Right in the past. So hello if that was someone over there. Um, some people I hadn't seen for yeah close to a decade. So it was a, a real pleasure. Uh, one of the themes I saw running through many conference presentations was, not surprisingly, the importance and benefit of high quality structured phonics instruction. Um, so yeah, no surprises there, but also the, you know, the shifts towards how we get this right, um, as well as the challenges faced, not only at an individual level, but um, at a more system wide level as well. I also sensed an urgency from some presenters not to forget about the oral language component. So the importance of oral language development and enrichment. Um, so remembering that good reading comprehension is the outcome, not only of skilled decoding, but also strong language comprehension. And of course, the simple view of reading and the reading rope models uh, remind us of those aspects. Uh, yes, and the speech language pathologist in me was beaming at this message that it's not just about the phonics, it's about every other aspect of, of literacy and language that we really need to um, look at shifting uh, our, our uh, outcomes for, I suppose. Um, I also really enjoyed presentations from Dr. Nicole Patton-Terry. She's from Florida State University. That was an absolute treat. She highlighted the active implementation formula. So this comes from the National Implementation Research Network in the States. And it's a, a formula that says that to produce socially significant outcomes, what is needed? So it's not only effective practice that is needed, the other crucial parts of the formula for meaningful change are enabling context and effective implementation. So I'm going to put a link below to the website. It has some free training on there as well, but I think it's a really important um, framework to keep in mind. And for me, I reflected on our what we offer with, with Sounds Right. And the Sounds Right training, whether you do the four-day in-person workshop or the six-week online course, provides that deep knowledge and the materials you need to get going with providing effective phonics instruction. But 
recognizing that the training is just the starting point. So that's the effective practice, but to help with effective implementation, so one of the other key components of this active implementation formula, Sounds Right and the Sounds Right trainers offer numerous resources post-training. Um, the large majority of these are available at no additional cost. Uh, the practitioner's portal is the best place to start for anyone trained. Uh, there's fantastic updated planning and implementation guides, free webinars, um, video explanations, all sorts of things in there. And don't forget about the new practitioner's hub. You'll find the link within the portal. And also the Sounds Right podcast has a range of, I think they're up to over 20 episodes now. So I'll put the links to the podcast below also. Um, and of course, if you are interested in any individual coaching, um, so I, I do offer once-off Q&A sessions for free with schools um, I've trained or individual practitioners that I've trained. So please do get in touch if you want to book something in. And I also offer coaching packages for longer-term support as well. Now, the final thing that I wanted to share are these lovely new decodable readers from Sounds Right. It's the Extended Code Next Steps collection. Uh, there are 20 books here. So it's still come in under, it's less than $5 per title. Um, Sounds Right is very much about keeping their resourcing low cost or no cost where possible. Um, and these, this series was designed for those confident readers to develop stamina, to develop vocabulary and fluency while still putting their skills and code knowledge that they've learned in the Sounds Right lessons into practice. They're a lovely transition from strictly phonically controlled text towards increasingly complex, you know, just that range of authentic text that we want our students to, to dive into. They cover 30 of the phoneme units of the extended code, starting with unit one, and you'll find more polysyllabic words as you move through the series. So you'll be able to find these on my website. They're in stock for immediate shipping via Soundality's um, shop. So I'll put a link to them below. Um, and you'll get a better view of what some of the internals look like via the, the website description there. So that's it for me. Um, as always, please get in touch if you've got any questions, as I'm happy to help. And thank you for the work that you're doing in improving literacy outcomes.